Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. Alright guys, my apologies for the delay. Thank you so much for your patience. I was in the middle of the, uh, well not smack dab in the middle, but you know, I was dealing with that Hurricane Dorian thing. Alright, glad that nothing really bad happened in the area where my sister stays. That's who I decided to stay with. Alright, anyways, here we go, love bugs. Um, I do not have all my tarot cards with me, and the lighting here sucks. Um, but you know, I am grateful that I have lighting. Anyways, um, so I'm going to be doing you guys' reading different from how I did the first four, alright? So here we go. First card out, strength, Leo, turn it around, sit it down. This message is for you. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the devil. We have the emperor. We have the eight of cups. And we have the page of pentacles. We have the seven of wands. We have the king of cups. And we have the lovers. Awesome sauce, awesome ending. Bottom of the deck. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. So, Leos, you could be dealing with another Leo. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Sagittarius, a Pisces. <coughs> Excuse me, Cancer, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I see Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And I see Gemini. So this could be in your chart, or this could be either a person or people that you may be dealing with. All right, so center of this reading the main thought of this reading is divine timing so there could be like some good news coming in blessings pouring in <coughs> excuse me what i see is about everything is about happening in divine timing all right so definitely getting that there could be like some travel business trips um something some really good news the center of this reading is the eight of cups all right so knowing your self-worth and self-value you guys know i always preach about self-worth and self-value every good spiritual person does so this is about walking away from all these things that confuse you all the delusions it's like emotionally i need to get my stuff together becky so I disconnected, I walked away from the problem, from the situation, from the person, place, thing, object, whatever, all right? That's the whole, like, center of the reading, all right? So the first card, birth card out is strength, all right? So some of you guys is like, Becky, I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's like, strength, pray for strength, all right? When you do things, you do them in love, you do them in strength. It, being vulnerable is not a weakness. It's actually very much a strength. All right. So when, like Mel says from um, your angelic, angelic karma, when the strength card is here, we know the devil wasn't lurking too far. All right. Look what's like on the same row. The devil. All right. So right now, it's like trying times. All right. Um, Saturn is about to go direct on the 18th of September. All right. So, having the strength to overcome the things that you have been working on has been the main focus since April of this year. And why say April of this year? Up to that point, it's like, okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. And then, when that point came, it's like, alright, we're about to put it in retrograde. We're going to see how you do. And then, basically, again, what I was saying to the other signs, you reap what you sow. So keep reaping, all right, or keep sowing, 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 all right, because you're about to reap these benefits, all right, with this eight of wands here, there's four movement, communication, communication could be coming in via text message, via email, via electronic, digital, all right, um, this is also about traveling is what I'm seeing here too, <coughs> excuse me, but I feel like also because the eight of wands is the only card in um, the right of weight anyways, that does not have a human being in it. This is like a shift. Spiritually moving, spiritually getting downloads, communications, knowing what's what you want, and it's like all the details come in. Why do I say the details? Well, there's movement here, you know, it's already there, it's shooting. And then we have like, you know, 
in between the lines. You could read in between the lines. The details are coming in, okay? It's very Mercury and Sagittarius. We'll get at the details. Everything happens through, you know, an epiphany of some sort. And right, now with that devil right beside that is could be like moving away, moving on from something very karmic, moving away or moving on from something very toxic as well, all right? All right, and this toxicity could be somebody that's very controlling. We have the emperor here. This is the Aries energy. Um, it's not saying that all Arians are buttheads or, you know, very controlling or control freaks. A lot of them are. I know because I'm an Aries moon, okay? I'm a control freak. I can admit it. But, like, it's somebody that can, like, control you that just, like, it's stuck it's like they're stuck in their old ways right this is also the dad card for me so a lot of you may be going through some father issues or healing through some fa father issues all right um let's see what else do i see but what i'm seeing a lot of right here is again overcoming uh control somebody is like somebody in the connection or somebody that you may know could be very controlling very manipulative very stubborn very set in their ways and it's like in order for you to move forward you need to leave that person that place that thing that situation behind all right that was very toxic and you know it and you felt it because it was something very stagnant all right now for the ones with the um that <clears throat> Uh, are being affected by Saturn which is everybody pretty much like things had to get stopped right the knight of Pentacles you bring something awesome bring something slow bring something stable bring something you can build with all right there's very Saturn here all right Saturn going um, direct things are going to start picking up things are going to start moving but there had to be a pause a pause for a cause right why so you can get the lesson seven of wands here and it's like you're trying to block out the things like you're trying to stand up for yourself you're standing up for what you believe in who you really are standing in standing up in your truth what i'm also seeing is there's some protection here you're trying to protect somebody someone something right from a very controlling like person um if that's not like you protecting somebody, then you are being protected. You're standing up for your rights, right? You're standing up for yourself, which is awesome. Being assertive, right? Assert yourself, assert your, your you know, truth, too. If you're being in that guise of control. Then we have the King of Cups here. So it's a very Scorpio energy. It's very intense. So what you're protecting, too, and defending is this intense love because we end with the lovers, okay? So there is somebody that you are in love with or that loves you. They feel the same way, but there is a situation where you're needing to protect somebody. You're needing to protect something until you can walk away from it fully because this this thing is very toxic. Uh, I see codependencies here. Maybe sex, drugs, alcohol, self-sabotaging self energy. Right, for some of you that are dealing with a Capricorn, things are definitely moving slow. They do love you. Uh, for those that um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or even Jupiter, okay? Even even North Node or South Node. Um, but it's like somebody's more now focused on work, for, focused on things. And it's like once Saturn goes direct on the 18th, blessings, boom blessings okay that's all i keep getting so let's go into your uh, um angel romance okay it says excuse me it says separation so you two may be again separated i did mention that in the beginning with the um wheel of fortune out all right, the next one we have is past life relationship, past life connection. So you've known this person from the past. Somebody is going to return or you're going to return to somebody from your past. 
All right, and then probably the reason why you couldn't before, again with the delays and block that slow movement, is because there was something very karmic that needed to wrap up. All right. In the last process, this could be the one and you've already met the partner that you seek. All right, you've already met the situation. You already, you know, whatever it is for you, your blessings, you've already met it. All right, and it's just you were waiting patiently working on yourself waiting working through that karma waiting for it to come it's coming it's coming so close you can feel it all right and it says give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so it's like at the end both of you want to work through something it could be a past partner it could be your present partner Whatever it is, there's something that had to be left, all right? Because then we have Saturn and then we have Mercury here. So there could have been a restriction in communication, all right? There could have been a restriction in love, a delay in love. Why? Because somebody had to balance their, their dark and their light as well, okay? So that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and for your patience. Um, if you guys... if yeah, if this message resonates, you guys know what to do. If it didn't, and you're interested in personal reading with me, check down the description box below. Hit me up for a personal reading, and I'll see you guys in two weeks.